Guys, today we'll be talking about extra view. Extra view on two decoder. It can be this model, which is the a DSD3U. It can be DSD1131. It can be HD for you. Any of these decoder got RF out and RF in. But it happened that when you go to purchase a decoder today, Multichair doesn't manufacture this decoder anymore. So they bring out the S model like this one. They bring out the S model who doesn't have RF out. The S model got only LMB in and the other connection as you know. Now, your old decoder have RF out and RF in and your heartbeat was connecting either on your RF in or RF out. So now, how do you connect this one? to your existing extra view stay tuned to the end and then i'll show you exactly how to connect it and then the second problem will be what i'm going to show you also how you can use your diaplexer which is this how can you use your diaplexer to connect two decoder hd like this to connect two decoder hd like this so that it can work on extra view also without use the smart lmb so we're going to be solving two problems on this video stay tuned and for those who just discovered this channel now i invite you to subscribe right now because we got many things to share in the future subscribe now and like share the video to other people who need it because somebody somewhere need it like i always say we start small, small while we are thinking big so that we can grow. Guys, stay tuned again and then we just explain to you how it works. So, at the back of your decoder, you usually connect two white cables here. There's a one which is your, there's a one is your uh, LMB from outside and there's the other one go to your secondary decoder for the communication. We call that cable heartbeat. Without that cable, the two decoder will not communicate. But now, we got this new one who have only LMB in. So what we're going to happen is that we're going to take this cable. This cable, we're going to use the diaplexer. We will take the cable who coming from outside on the, our broken decoder. As I say, we're going to use the diaplexer. We're going to take that cable. We're going to put it here in the in. We're going to put it on in the in. On the diaplexer and then we screw it in and we're gonna use the diaplexer remember the diaplexer is the one who's gonna help you now to do the communication because it combined the digital signal in one coaxial cable so we're gonna take this one and then after I put it in in the diaplexer we got satellite and we got antenna remember the satellite will be the one going now to the decoder so you're going to make a short cable like this one, like this one, which you're going to put it on SAT. Connection of the SAT, we're going to put it, you screw it on SAT, you screw it on SAT, and that cable now, you're going to put it on your new decoder. You're going to screw it in your new decoder, who has only the LMB input. You're going to take it from SAT, you're going to take it from SAT, and then you put it on this decoder. And this one is the one who used to be here. The one who used to be here, you put it in the in on your diaplexer. And this one written antenna, antenna, that will be your heartbeat cable. So the other cable from the secondary decoder will sit here. And you're going to go back to your normal program on extra view. So that's the how you're going to connect your new decoder to the existing one which is actually damaged so like i say if you really did enjoy this first step of using your diplexer i will still advise you to subscribe after subscribing now we're going to go to the second step i want to show you here now how you can connect two decoder s calling s model you can use two decoder s model on extra view using a diplexer remember the decoder we make today this decoder is using 
uh, the uni cable and the universal cable. This port of this new decoder of S model, you can connect universal uh, uh, universal LMB here. You can connect the uni uh, uni cable set CR here. Remember, if I got two decoder like this one, I can connect it on extra view by using by using the smart LMB. If you use the smart LMB like this one, you can easily take one cable from the dish, one cable from the dish, you screw it, the first cable here, and you take the second cable from the dish outside. So as I'm demonstrating you to you now, you can easily take one cable from the dish to your first decoder like this one it could be this type i'm saying is a s model you can take it here and you take you take one cable from the first decoder and the other cable from the second decoder so this one gonna go to a second decoder i don't have the the, 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 the two uh, s model here that's why i'm using it but remember when you use a smart lmb you just need one cable to first decoder and the other cable to the second decoder. That's all. That's how you're going to connect two decoder on S Travel using the S model decoder or using the Explorer. It's the same installation. But now, let's say that you don't have a smart LMB. You don't have a smart LMB. You got a tune LMB. You got a tune LMB universal. And then what do you do? How do you install this one with the Tune LMB Universal? This is the Tune LMB Smart. There's other Smart LMB who got three port uni, uh, uni cable and one port Universal. So now, look at this Tune LMB. This Tune LMB actually is a Universal Tune LMB. This Tune LMB doesn't have any uni cable on it. So you got this one already on your dish. And you have diplexer by yourself. What can you do? And then you have a small decoder like this one. You got two of this decoder. If you got two of this decoder, who use only one port, two of this decoder, what you need is to have two diplexer. When you have two diplexer, you can connect these two decoder with this tune LMB. How do you connect this? You go outside of your, you go outside of your dish. Two cables should be connected on your tune LMB. Two cables should be connected on your tune LMB. And the other one connecting here. Because the tune LMB have a universal uh, signal. So it's not going to work directly to your two decoder. So what you do, in the end of this, you're going to use diplexer. Remember, I want to show you how to use the diplexer. You take your first diplexer, you use this as an in, your SAT go to the decoder, and your antenna will be your heartbeat. Let's do it. I take the first, I put it here, in. I put it in here. And then I take the other, and then I'll take the other diplexer, and then I'm going to put it here. Remember, I'm using the in. I put it there. We just put it there. We screw it. So meaning that from the LMB outside, I got two cables coming in the house. And that two cable come and fit inside the two diplexer like this. And then when I have two diplexer, remember the SAT one, written SAT, as you can see here. The one written SAT. I'm going to take it now. I'll take the SAT one to my first decoder. I use the SAT one. I take it to my first decoder. And then I go to the other second diplexer, which is this one. I'll take another cable on the SAT and then I'll go to the second decoder. And then I'll connect it to the second decoder. I screw it to the second decoder. And now, how do I claim my heartbeat? I use antenna and antenna on the two diplexer. And then I'll put it here. I'll put it here to create my heartbeat. Because remember, 
The true decoder must always have a heartbeat to, in order to have a communication among them. So I have to create a heartbeat with my two diplexers. So I'm going to take antenna here. I'll put to the other antenna here to make to make the heartbeat. Remember, if we don't have a heartbeat, the two decoder will not communicate. So it's very simple to do this installation, guys. Just watch nicely. This is your LMB outside. On the LMB outside, you got two cable coming from your LMB, tune LMB outside. These two cable, one gonna go to the end of your diaplexer, like you can see here, in of the diaplexer. The other one go to the other second diaplexer, here. And then when you come out, you're going to have sat out, sat out, and sat out. Sat out, sat out, going to the primary decoder. And the other sat out, go to the secondary decoder. Now, you have to run the heartbeat from the antenna, as you can see, from the antenna to the antenna. That is a heartbeat. That's what's going to help you to do the communication between the two decoders. And like this, you'll be having your you'll be having your two decoder S model, this type of model. You'll be having this type of decoder connecting on S craft view. This is the case only if you don't have a smart LMB. But if really, if you can afford to buy a smart LMB, even if it's a tune smart LMB like this one, you don't need to use diaplexer. So I'm just showing you this in case. You have diplexer and you got a tune LMB and you need to do connection on S travel with your two decoder. Why I'm showing this is because many a, a, one of you guys asked me how to use a diplexer. And then I say, okay, I think it will be preferable to make a video uh, on the occasion so that I will show you how to use the diplexer. So a diplexer like this one we can use it to combine two signal in one coaxial cable that's why you see in this the one i just demonstrate to you now we use it to create a communication between two two uh, decoder who doesn't have a rf out and who doesn't have a rf in so it's very important and then i wanted to show to you that do not do do not confuse yourself with these two this one is not a diplexer. This one is a multiple switch. It's a two-way multiple switch. This is a diplexer. It's even written on it that is a diplexer, and this one is a multiple switch. So when you go to the market, be careful because you may think the uh, a diplexer is a multiple switch or the multiple switch is a diplexer. So you must make that difference when you are purchasing your diplexer.